So in the last class, we understood supply. So in this lecture, we'll try to understand the shift versus movement of supply curve. Another extremely important concept, which often many students do make a lot of mistakes. So let's try to define first what's the movement along the supply curve means. So movement along the supply curve, also called change in quantity supplied. So movement, change in quantity supplied is also movement along supply curve which is and is caused by change in anything that alters the quantity supplied at each price so anything that changes the price of the goods and as a result that changes the quantity supplied that's caused the movement along the supply curve so movement is caused by change in price so let's try to understand this using a graph. So this is a supply curve. We all know supply curve is always upward sloping. It increases with price. So it's the price of ice cream is quantity supply. And let's say a rise in the price of ice cream happens. So price increases to $3, right? Now, as a result, what happens? It moves to here and the seller produces here so that means quantity increases price increases and this movement from here a to this point c so point a to point c see you're moving along the supply curve and that's why it's called movement along the supply curve and it happens why because there's a change in price as a result there's a change in quantity so price increases that's leads to increase in quantity and this is called movement along the supply curve now the shift of supply curve which is also called change in supply so this is very important so movement was change in quantity supplied shift is called change in supply the word quantity is missing here a shift in supply curve is either left or right and it is caused by change in determinant other than the price of the product so this is determinant other than the price anything other than the price and we saw like expectations input prices or anything that affects supply other than price cause a shift of supply curve and how to note all those things if this is a supply curve a rightward shift is shown as this it is also called increase in supply so right shift is called increase in supply on the other hand left shift is called decrease in supply is decrease in supply why it's a decrease Let's try to understand this. Suppose the price is say $10. And suppose initially you were selling say 100 units. If you are on this supply curve, you will be selling something less than 100, right? It will be maybe 70. On the other hand, at price $10, if you are on this supply curve, you would be something selling more, maybe 130. So because of that, left is a decrease in supply and the right shift is an increase in supply and why it happens it happens for reasons other than the change in price of the good under consideration what's the good we are considering ice cream cone so we should be looking at the price of the ice cream cone so let's let's try, have a look into the variables that in, influence sellers obviously the price which is a movement along the supply curve input prices it's a shift Technology, it's a shift of supply curve. Expectations, it's a shift. Number of sellers, it's a shift. Let's try to understand input prices. If input prices increases, that means your profit margin decreases. You should be selling less. So if input price increase, and mind you, it's the price of the input, not the price of the ice cream cone. Input means maybe sugar or maybe wheat that goes into making ice cream cone. So if Input price increases, supply 
decrease or shift left on the other hand if technology improves generally better technology means lower cost so supply increases so supply increases shift right expectations prices are going to change tomorrow then what do you do you don't want to sell today if price is going up tomorrow again this will be a shift because it's a price is not changing today but tomorrow and finally the number of sellers as number of sellers increases so is the in supply curve shifts right so keep in mind that anything that affects price of the commodity causes movement along the supply curve or also called change in quantity supply anything that affects supply other than the price of the commodity causes shift of supply curve a right shift of supply curve means increase in supply a left shift means a decrease in supply